This is John Black, Super Chemist. I, I just basically wanted people to know I'm not dead. I just am busy at work. It'll take a few months before I can start doing videos again. Although if you've been with me for the last three years, you'll know that in the summertime, it's not a good time. Plus the lab makes a lot of heat. And uh, I don't have the energy. I don't have the money for that. <coughs> you know, I use the heat in the wintertime, the heat that I use in the lab, that just heats the house up. So I don't, I don't even have a furnace. So there are ways to make the sodium nitrate. Uh, you can get equal volumes or uh, equal molar amounts of uh, NO gas and NO2 gas and bubble them into some sodium hydroxide. That'll make it. Or you can <clears throat> take the NO gas and NO2 gas mix them together, cool it down so it turns into N2O3 then you can use that N2O3 to put into the sodium hydroxide solution and it will make you know your sodium nitrite <coughs> uh, you can also heat it up uh, some sodium nitrate or I don't know if you can do it for sodium nitrate but sodium uh, potassium nitrate one of them, I can't remember which one of them, but it might, it's probably both of them to tell you the truth, but one of them you just heat up uh, to red hot, uh, and if anyone wants to know, just ask me and I'll look it up and tell you, uh, but you heat the nitrate, remember I'm saying nitrate with an A, you heat it up till it's red hot, okay, then you let it stay red hot for 30 minutes, and you turn off the heat, and you'll have uh, equilibrium, some of it will be nitrite, some of it will be nitrate, and uh, I think it's about 360, 400 Celsius, something like that, I can't remember. <clears throat> and you'll have an equilibrium. And you can still do this reaction down here, right? It's just when you use your nitrite, half of it's going to be nitrate, you know what I mean? So what? It'll stay in solution. When you when this mixes with that, you'll still have this precip out your as your silver nitrite, and you know the so, the sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate that didn't react right didn't get reduced to the nitrite. So what? It'll just stay in solution. So uh, also you can use a metal to uh, reduce it, uh, like uh, I think lead maybe maybe iron. I can't remember, uh, but it'll suck some of the oxygen over. It's kind of like a thermite reaction. Uh, and that's about it. I'm sure there are other ways. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Here to tell you how to get two things, uh, sodium nitrite and sodium metabisulfite. Uh, mainly, though, it's about the sodium nitrite. Uh, way you can get it is this company here it's called Procure Bait Sense okay and you can see it this is what the bottle looks like um, it's sodium nitrite technical grade 99 percent uh, 32 ounces net weight is what the uh, bottle says and it has a bunch of other writing on it so you know what it looks like so and I want you to keep in mind, I'm talking about nitrite with an I, not nitrate with an A. There's a difference. There's one less oxygen, right? This one's more oxygen oxygenated, okay? Now, the one thing I want to bring up, which is a great thing about sodium nitrite and also potassium nitrite, you know, for that matter, uh, they both have an E number, okay? And uh, how do I know this? Usually I get everything from Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a great source. I mean, sometimes I just sit there and plug in chemical names and read. You know what I mean? They'll tell you a bunch of stuff about that chemical. They always tell you how to make it. <laughs> um, but it has an E number. Now, an E number is a number given, uh, actually, I want to say the FDA, but I really don't know who does the E numbers. Um, but it basically means that it's an additive that some government organization thinks it's okay to put in the food, okay, like coloring, preservatives, um, maybe, uh, I, I don't know what other things, but, you know, you add the foods. Um, in this case, it's pre preservative. Um, now, if you want to, uh, if you want to preserve, uh, like, uh, vegetables, you know, you want to can them, put them in a can and 
preserve them, make them last a long time. You would buy sodium benzoate, and then you can put the sodium benzoate in. It has an E number. It's a preservative. It preserves vegetables and you know canning stuff like that. Uh, sodium nitrate is a preservative for meats. Okay, fish, meats, proteins, and uh, so and and just because it it has an E number, that doesn't mean you can just eat it. Okay, even though it's put into food, it's put into food in trace amounts. You know what I'm saying? You can't get a handful or a spoonful and just start eating this stuff because it's actually toxic. Um, but how do I, uh, how do you get sodium nitrate? How do you get this procure? One of the places I looked on was Amazon.com. Although you can just probably Google procure bait sense and you know ask them where they you know where do you sell your crap at <clears throat> um, but Amazon they do have it on Amazon so I assume they have it on other places um, it's called procure bait sense uh, they have two things well, they have a bunch of things but two I noticed was sodium nitrite and sodium metabisulfite okay they're both for uh, curing uh, salmon eggs or salmon or whatever uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you can get it for about ten ten dollars a pound. Um, the sodium metabisulfite, and keep in mind, I'm not saying sulfate. I'm saying sulfite with an I. Uh, it's a little cheaper. It's about seven dollars a pound. They come in two pound jars. You know what I mean? Uh, this jar right here. This is that's. That's a two pound jar, you know what I mean? It's like $21.10 or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but they do have other, you can get it for cheaper. They actually had a 55 uh, jar there that was, uh, I think, 60 bucks or something. Um, so you can get higher, you know, larger whatever, but it was in a. Uh, you know, scientific thing. It had the scientific uh, little triangle thingies there with the letters and colors. Um, I don't like buying stuff like that. I buy this. You know, it's nothing. It's it's for curing meats, for God's sakes. It's a food additive, a preservative. Um, nobody bats an eye if I buy one of these. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably like it's got to be at least ten moles or twenty moles. I don't know. I I don't know how many moles are. I don't know how many grams are in a, a, a mole of nitrate. I don't want to do the math right now, but it's a good deal. And you might say, well, what good is sodium nitrate? You can look on Wikipedia. Pull, pull up nitrate, pull up sodium nitrate, and pull up potassium nitrate. And they'll all give you examples in each one of them, you know, what you can do with these things. There's a lot you can do with them, though. Um, but the main thing that I want the sodium nitrate for is I want you to look at this formula here. You got silver nitrate with an A, trait, and you put it in water, it's soluble. And I showed you how to make silver. You just get it, you know, on the internet. That's anyone can buy silver. Potassium nitrate, I have a video, you, you get it at the Lowe's. It's 100% pure. I showed how to make silver nitrate, snout it up to here. Now you got the sodium nitrate. That you buy right it's soluble in water so, so you have both of them in water but if you mix them together now all the ions are mixing together and when a, a silver ion and a nitrite ion touch each other they'll pre precip out because they're very slightly they're not they're almost insoluble but they're not uh, so most of it will precip out and then you can just filter it out right wash it off right let it dry then you can get <coughs> A, you know, like a alkyl uh, halide, like a alkyl bromide, alkyl chloride, alkyl iodide, whatever. And uh, if you mix it with the silver nitrite, well, everything's in uh, um, diethyl ether, right? What happens is, is the silver and the bromide get together, and when they touch, they precip out, okay? When it's all precipped out, you can filter it out. Now you're just left with diethyl ether and
And if you started out with methyl bromide, then you'd be left with uh, methyl nitrate or nitromethane and uh, diethyl ether. Whatever your alkyl group is over here, it's going to be over here. You know what I mean? I have uh, ethyl, so it's uh, nitroethane, okay, which is easy to to uh, separate. This is called the Victor Meyer reaction. This is how you spell his name. Uh, this is how he uses it when he talks about his reaction. It's an SN reaction. Um, you know, nucleophile comes in and just substitutes the uh, NO2 substitutes for the uh, bromium. Um, <clears throat> so you can make, uh, you know, nitromethane, nitroethane, whatever. Um, but there's a lot of other things I don't want to get into because um, this short video is now turning into kind of a long video. Um, but <clears throat> you can buy this from other, you know, you can go on Amazon or eBay or whatever and just get it from, they, they look like they're from a chemical supply company. As long as you don't buy, you know, 100 pounds of it or something, you know, you're not buying tons and stuff. Nobody will bat an eye because they'll think that you're using it for, uh, you know, preserving meat. You know what I'm saying? But I would buy. I, I just why not just buy this pure cure, uh, pro cure bait sense. You know what I'm saying? It definitely looks like. I mean, it even says on the package. There's no chemical. You know, it doesn't look chemical at all. It looks like food stuff. You know what I mean? This no one definitely is going to bat an eye with. Anyways. Now you know how to get sodium nitrite, sodium metabisulfite, uh, and there's a million ways to get sodium metabisulfite because uh, the the uh, beer distributor industry for like people that do it as a hobby, you know, you have your own little home brew thing because um, it's legal to brew uh, alcohol. You're just not allowed to distill it so that it's liquor. You know, as long as it stays a beer, that's fine. It's legal um, and Metabisulfite is one of the things that helps you, you, you use. I forget how. Um, <clears throat> that's another way you can get that. Anyways, you all have a great day. And always remember, uh, science is great.